All right, let's take a look at some LEDs. And these are more like LED assemblies. Um, so we can start with, uh, let's say we'll start with this one. Here's a board and it has a whole bunch of individual LEDs on the board. Okay, so this is an assembly. And then each LED is something uh, that is soldered to the PC board. And the PC board can be a uh, regular FR4 fiberglass. A lot of times they'll use aluminum uh, PC boards. So there's actually an aluminum layer and then a very, very, very thin PC board that's, a, that's uh, uh, adhered to this um, piece of metal and allows a really good heat sink capability to, if this unit gets hot, then you can put a heat sink on the back of this and it'll extract the heat. So, so this is a, uh, an LED assembly. Here's another LED assembly. Uh, this is a ring light uh, th that is to be used in, I think, a BMW, uh, where you uh, think these are called angel eyes. You can put these uh, on your headlights, and they put a ring of LEDs around the headlights. So the he headlight uh, will be here, but then there'll be a ring around. It makes it look pretty. Um, I like to buy these because they're cheap, and then you can use them for microscopes, for use them for ring illumination on microscopes. So uh, I, I've used these before, and you can get them real cheap off of eBay. Just search for angel eyes or something like that, um, uh, automotive headlights. And so this is also an assembly. Uh, these are individual LEDs, and uh, these are soldered to a PC board. This PC board is just fiberglass. And, uh, and has some wires coming out of it. It also has load resistors built into the uh, built into the assembly. So you just apply 12 volts in this thing, and this thing lights up. Okay. So what is uh, COB? COB stands for chip on board. So these are LEDs on PC boards, but chip on board means that there's no LED packages, the individual die, the individual chip itself is adhered to a PC board, so it's chip on board. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at these, and I will change lenses because I want to get close. All right, let's take a look at this one first. Uh, this is the most simple type of chip on board. So it looks like there's a bunch of individual LEDs mounted to a PC board. Uh, this PC board also has aluminum, uh, aluminum cladding. But uh, these are not uh, LED packages. These are actually LED dies directly attached to the PC board. So these are chips attached to the PC board, so chip on board. And then each LED has its own little piece of phosphor to make it a white LED and its own little um, lens. Let's see if I can focus on just the lenses. Uh, you can see maybe if I get it at the right angle. Uh, it's kind of hard. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, there are individual little uh, semi he uh, hemispheres on each of the LEDs to focus the light. And so that is, uh, that is chip on board. Uh, this one is made by Luxion. Um, I don't know who owns them now. They got sold. Some banking company, I think, bought them. Anyway, um, the next uh, one we'll look at is this one. Uh, so these are some that I bought off of eBay quite some time ago. And I think you can just see the imprint. There's like uh, nine little dark spots. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Those are the individual LEDs. So those are the individual blue LEDs. And then uh, it's on a copper, I mean, a, a aluminum um, PC board uh, structure here. And then to get the heat out. And then it has this little plastic piece molded on and then that plastic piece is is filled is filled with a silicone material that has the phosphor in it to convert it to white light and so that's that's um very typical of chip on board products is that a bunch of chips on a board and then it's flooded with this uh, phosphor impregnated um uh silicone or epoxy or things like that. These are, I think these are silicones. Yeah, they feel soft. Um, and so uh, there's a blue LED and then a layer of phosphor on top. And then the blue gets into the phosphor, it makes white light and it comes out. So chip on board. So these are uh, nine, I think this would be called nine watts. I think each LED is a lot of times considered to be one watt. 
And so, um, and then these are wired in some way, so they can be uh, nine in series, they could be three in series, and then three in parallel. Um, so you have to figure out how these things are wired. Uh, and um, know how to drive them correctly. Right? So these have some thing, I don't know if they're in series or in parallel, I don't remember now. Um, my guess would be that they are three in series and then three in parallel, and then they're brought out to two tabs. And then you can just daisy chain these. So I have these all soldered together. So I put them in series and drive this with a constant current, right? Now, when you drive these in a constant current, then the voltages are gonna stack up. Instead of having a three volt LED, suddenly you have a nine volt LED. And then when you put uh, these two, then you have an 18 LED, you know, and then it just keeps getting higher and higher in voltage. So uh, when you choose the uh, power supply to go with it, uh, this one, uh, can handle up to, this one's handles between uh, 42 and 63 volts. So your string needs to fall within 42 and 63, and then it'll drive it with a constant current, and in this case, the constant current is 300 milliamps. And so that's how you buy these, uh, buy these LED sources. You need a uh, a particular current you're interested in, and then some compliance voltages, some range of voltages that it operates over. Some have wide ranges and some have pretty narrow ranges. This is fairly narrow. 42 to 63 is fairly narrow. So uh, this must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times 9, yeah. So anyway, um, so that's chip on board. Uh, so let's take a little bit closer look on chip and board. I can, I can just dem demonstrate that with, th with these units. Uh, so these units are chip and board. Uh, they have the PC board, and the PC board is, uh, is aluminum. And uh, instead of um, uh, pouring uh, goo on top of the LEDs, these have a little unit that goes on top. And so this little unit has the phosphor and then it's glued down to the PC board. So I popped it off, and so you can see it. So there's a phosphor here, and then these are blue LEDs. Uh, is that in focus? There we go. Uh, these are blue LEDs, and uh, these are uh, phosphor, different types of phosphors to make white light. Um, now, if you have these two kind of separated, the light's gonna kind of bounce around in there, and so you want to make sure that it bounces around efficiently. So the inside rim here is white. And uh, in between the blue LEDs, they actually did do a lot like this, where you poured on the um, phosphor, they poured on some white goo. So there's white goo in between the blue LEDs. So if the light does bounce around in there, it'll reflect off of that white, right? So that's how that's, that's, how that's constructed and it uh, gives you a nice big area. So one of the things about a chip on board is you get a whole bunch of power. You get a whole bunch of light out of just one unit. You don't have to, you don't have to go through the trouble of building a PC board and hooking a bunch of things up. It's all done for you. And so they're, they're quite convenient and uh, quite bright. Uh, these can be, you know, 4,000 lumens and higher. Um, so they're, they're, uh, they're pretty bright. And then you can imagine uh, a unit like this uh, putting a reflector around it and having a nice, having a nice light. So um, I don't really have the right lens for this. Let's, uh, let's point over here for a second. There we go. All right, there we go. That's a better picture. Uh, so this is a, uh, is a light. Uh, and it has a, uh, I don't want to bend over. <laughs> Oh, well, I think you can see it. Uh, it has a, uh, uh, a reflector in there. And uh, we can get a little, cl little closer to the reflector. Let's see here. Oops. There we go. So you can see the, uh, that chip on board down there. And then this is a parabolic reflector. And if you have a, a good parabolic reflector, when you look into it, the yellow will appear on the reflector because you want the light to come straight out. So you're, 
basically got a mirror that focuses down to that to that spot there, right? So, uh, so these are uh, these are cool. Add those to your wall or ceiling or something. So, uh, chip on chip on board with a reflector. Uh, that's that's fairly typical. All right, like I said, uh, blue LEDs and a cover. Uh, and here's another one that we can light up. Uh, this one is smaller and so it doesn't require as much voltage. You can see all the little blue, the blue LEDs in there. I don't know how many there are, quite a few in this one. And then this little, uh, little reflector we can put over it. So let's, uh, let's wire this up and uh, turn it on. All right, I was having problems with that other LED, so we'll turn on this one and move the wires over. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, power this up. I'm going to put in three milliamps, so that won't be too bright. And it's still way bright. Blue, blue light is just not right. It's really, really bright. Let me, uh, so here's, here's the individual blue LEDs. And, um, So let's uh, go ahead and uh, go back. We'll put the uh, put the phosphor over it, and now we have white light. So before we had blue light, and now we have white light. So that is chip on board. A uh, whole bunch of chips on a board, and then. Uh, the chips themselves can have phosphor, or usually it's just poured on top, and uh, and that's the way it's manufactured. And this is this is a fancy one; uh, you won't see many of these. They're uh, a bit too expensive. 